Bible says in the book of 3 John, the heart of God through the apostle, he said, beloved, I, I found out that's me. And that's God's own elect people. He said, I wish, pray, and desire, depending on which um, uh, translation you're looking at. And he said, I want you to prosper and be in good health even as your soul prospers. Someone lift your hand and say, I hope that's for me. But it is. <laughs> You have to claim it, you have to know it. You know, John 8, 32 said, you'll know the truth and you'll see that the truth will make you free. It'll make you something great you weren't before. And then in the 31st verse in John 8, the gospel of John now, he said, if you continue in my word, then you are my disciples indeed. So we must continue in this book, do you have your Bible? Can you hold it up? Or your phone, if you have the phone, Bible on the phone. And then you have to be directed to something good to read in the scripture because it's a big book. There's a lot of stories. You don't need everyone. You need the best ones for you. Okay, all of them are good, all of them are right, but who has time? You have to focus on what's going to benefit you, but God wants us to prosper. Can you say amen to that? Amen. Prosperity is of God. Poverty is of the devil. And it's also a product of sin. It's a product of the curse. It's a product of ignorance. It's a product of all those things. And God doesn't want it for his own people. God wants us to live the best life. Lift your hands. I heard the Lord speak to me. God wants us to look at all these babies here. Bless you babies. Grow up. Grow up smart and get rich. Someone say, I'm supposed to get rich. People have a problem with that because so many people have misused that. But it's just the plan of God. You know, it's like if you're going to be poor, you're going to suffer. If you're going to be blessed, I mean what, what we call blessed, then you're going to be pro you're going to be happy. Lift your hands. Say, the more money I have, the more happy I am. The more friend, good friends I have, the happier I am. Better house, the better car. Some people don't have a car yet. How many want a car to drive? How many want a car to drive? You can have one. It's better for you than walking around everywhere. Walking is for the sheep. You know, you see the sheep out there, right? And the cows. That's, it's, walking is for them. Kibaki said, we're the walking people in Kenya. President Kibaki. That's okay because you get strong legs. It's good to walk. A walk is exercise, but it's not the ultimate, it's not the ultimate means of transportation. <laughs> you, <laughs> you, you still should have the four wheels under you and you can go fast. You can move. Lift your hands and claim that right now. Say, Lord, give me, a, I'll take my own car. And stop saying, God, give me. Start saying, I'm taking it. We're praying, God, God, God. God says, what? I already promised everything to you. Why don't you go get it? Hello? Isaiah 45, 11 is a very fierce scripture that a lot of people haven't seen yet. I want to help you. I want to really help you. Amen. Okay, now who's that? Is that one of the sheeps or is that a baby? It's a sheep, yeah? Oh, see, you can't tell them to be quiet. They won't listen. You can't tell the sheep, hey, Yamaza. They go, oh, what? I don't speak Swahili. Some, some animals, they speak Swahili. I, taught, I, yell, I yelled at one animal in English. He didn't listen to me. Then I said, Yamaza. He went, whoop. A dog was barking. I said, shut up. Be quiet. Then I started saying, ah, the Holy Spirit gave me. I said, Umbwa, Yamaza. And he went, whoop. I said, that dog speaks Swahili, man. <laughs> yeah. Praise the Lord. So you got to use different formulas, you know. But you see, the key is you can talk. The key I'm trying to help you to understand, 
You can speak to everything. Sit, lift your hands right now. I came for a few moments. I'm sorry I have such a heavy schedule. It's crazy today. By the way, happy Mother's Day. Hallelujah. To all the moms. Be blessed. It's Mother's Day. Can you even believe it? I'm wondering if I'm on the planet Earth still, and then I'm thinking it's Mother's Day, it's Sunday, I'm going somewhere, and I'm here, then I'm going somewhere, then I'm over there, then I... Oh, Lord. I know. Should we try it? Yeah, Mazda. Woo! We changed the tune. Changed the tone, the octave pitch. What do you call sheep in Swahili? Huh? What? What? Kondo? 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 What? Kondo. Okay. I'm boozy. No. Kondo. Fisi. Twiga. Pundamalia. Which one? Simba and Dovu, which one? Yoka, which one? Umbua, praise the Lord. <laughs> Panya, which one? Punda, yeah, Punda. Oh, I like Pundas. Be nice to the Punda, Heshimu Punda. Be nice to the Punda. Those guys that beat the pundas, somebody should beat them. Take that stick and beat them with it. Say, how do you, how do you think it feels? Stop beating that animal. That's wrong. Praise the Lord. Heshimu punda. Say it. Heshimu punda. All right. That's, that's something. That we're in other places now. Let's stay in the gospel. So you got to talk to things. Guess what? Say what? Guess what? Guess what? Everything has ears. Yeah, thank you, dear. Not these kind of ears, maybe, different, different. But hearing, everything can hear. Even Jesus, he spoke to the fig tree, and he said what? He said, you haven't produced any fruit, so I curse you. The disciples looked at him and probably thought, Jesus, what is wrong with him? They might have been talking to each other, saying like, is Jesus okay? He's talking to the to trees now. But when they came back, back the way they came, the thing was dried up and withered. The tree heard Jesus' voice. Now, do you think it's only Jesus who can speak to things, or it's also us? It's us too, because we're his people in the world. He said, power that I have, give I unto you, right? Remember the disciples uh, said to the man at the gate, beautiful, in the name of Jesus, rise up and walk. Praise the Lord. Amen. So he's given us his own authority in this world. Jesus is gone. He went upstairs. Praise the Lord. Amen. He's up there. He's not, he's not walking around here physically anymore, but we are. Lucky us. Sometimes we say, oh, my God, why, where am I at? So we have to talk to things. Write that down somewhere. I must speak to everything. I must speak to everything, what I want it to do. What do I want in life? What do I want from my situations in life, what do I want to have? What do I want to become? What does God want for me? Do I know what that is? And then once I figured out what it is that God ha has planned for my life, now I need to walk in power and authority to go and get it. Can you say amen to that? Lift your hand and say, I'm going to start speaking to things from today. Talk to the house you want. Talk to the car you want. Talk to the job you want. Talk to the business you want. Talk to the money you want. Talk to the people that you want to see. 
Talk, speak it into existence. I'm going to have new friends, new situations. Come on, I came to help you. You never heard nobody like me. I'm glad I'm here to give you this. Lift your hands. I got to stop in a minute because I, I'm sorry about the time and the, the long distance and all that. We're going to another meeting from here. But lift your hands up right now. I came to give you this. This is powerful. And, and I, I could preach all day if I had time, believe me, for hours and hours. But we don't need that right now. Take this revelation. I must speak to everything. Lift your hands. What do you want? What do you want? You want land. You want property. You want to be blessed. You want new things to happen for you. Talk. You have to talk. You have to speak. And you have to first have it in your mind. See, a lot of people don't have it in their mind. Or something's wrong with their mind. I don't know what it is some, with some people. You tell them things, they don't listen. Have you ever seen that? You tell them, you know, to be creative. They don't know what to say. They never have a creative thought. I think something's wrong with that, a, a person like that. Truly. So, probably your answer for that that. that for that situation is to remove yourself from there <laughs> and say and say I have to move on from here one more thing before I pray father lift your hands lift your hand father I thank you for new connections for every person under the sound of my voice wherever you are in the world here there or anywhere you're hearing me right now however you're seeing this or hearing this voice right now the Lord is, is wanting you to talk, to say this. I will have new experiences of the best of the best. God wants us to have the best of everything in life. Everything good. Nothing bad. Everything rich. Nothing poor. Everything prospering. Nothing lacking. Everything fixed and working. Nothing broken. The word shalom, which is one of the names of God, which we call peace, it means more than peace. It means the destroyer of chaos. Chaos, confusion, and all kinds of pro uh, uh, disorganization and disorder and messy things. God wants to put everything into order. Lift your hands. God loves order and structure and systems and patterns and plans. He loves that. But it's hard for people to do it sometimes because you're just going along minute by minute. You don't know, you know, how to put that all together. But God wants you to plan your life out. You need to take time planning. You need to take time to strategize. Habakkuk 2.2 said you need to write everything down. Write a vision down. Everything that's disorderly, unexcellent, the hand of God has not touched it enough. But guess what? The key you have is your speech. Even if you don't have money, you can speak. Hello? Even if you don't have a car to drive and a big building to operate from, you can speak. Lift your hands. Lift your hands up. Everybody, lift your hands up. You can speak to things and things will obey you. Now, the first five minutes or the first five hours or the first five days or even the first five weeks, maybe even the first five months, I don't know. I hope it's not that long. It def I would say definitely not five years. <clears throat> but just because something doesn't change in the first second you begin to say something, don't be discouraged. Keep speaking. You know, blessing is for the persistent people. If you persist and you keep moving, you'll get what you want. Lift your hands up right now. Someone said wealth and blessing and success is for the people that don't quit and don't stop. They keep pushing. They keep going. Even Proverbs said the diligent hand makes one rich, but the slack hand makes to want. Hello? Hello? You'll get what you want eventually if you don't stop along the way. So one of the characteristics of the Holy Ghost, the fruit of the Spirit, that we see in Galatians 5 is long-suffering, meaning you stay with it. Even if you're suffering, you keep moving in it. You don't stop. Lift your hands. Father, I pray for this people 
that they will get this kind of miracle working fire and power that they can begin to see what it is you want them to see and then they begin to say what it is you want them to say and as they speak it into existence it shall surely happen if you see it you can seize it if you see it you'll say it and if you say it then you'll see it speech sight perception and even perseverance in the middle of adversity you don't quit no matter what you don't stop no matter what you keep going every day no matter what if one day wasn't the best that you wanted it to be guess what you just say i i have tomorrow i have tonight i have the next morning i'm going to keep going lift your hands up right now wake up early Start talking to the day. Start speaking to the day. Start saying in faith what you want. Say, I will be blessed today. I will be favored today. I'll prosper today. I'll have new open doors today. I'll have new connections today. Everything good is coming my way. Nothing evil can come near me. Amen. We have Psalm 91. Psalm 91 says, if you dwell in the secret place of the Most High, which really is being close to God. I think that's the easiest way to describe that. Because you can say, what is the secret place? Where is it? I, you, you can have so many ways of trying to des describe it, you know? Forget about all that. Just make it simple. It means being in the hand of God, being close to God, being covered by the shadow of his glory, having his angels over you. Amen. Praise the Lord. And now everything good will begin to happen. No evil can touch you. Psalm 27 said, the Lord... It's my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? Of whom shall I be afraid? <laughs> Psalm 37 said, God told the psalmist, he said, don't uh, worry about the evildoers because they will soon be cut off, but the righteous will flourish and be lifted up. David said, I was young and now I'm on in, in age more and I've never seen me being forsaken. Praise the Lord. There's one word in the Bible that means a people not forsaken. God didn't forget you. How many are happy about that? Lift your hands up right now. He's watching you to see what you're going to do. See, there's something wrong in the church. Hello? I have to tell you this. We're praying, begging God. God, please, God, please. God said, I can't do everything. You have to do something. Lift your hands, say, it's me. It's me. Everything's on me. Do you know the power of authority that God's given us? He turned it over to us. Even in the first chapter of the first book of the Bible, Genesis chapter 1 and verse 26, he said, I want you to have dominion over everything on the earth. Did he say he was going to do that or we are going to do that? Which one? Which one? It's us. So you have to make up your mind. You know why? Do you know why? You have to make up your mind to go and get what you want. Do you know why some people become successful and others don't? Because some people choose to do what they want. Lift your hands. And they say, I've made a decision to go forward. Amen. Say it. Say it. I like, I like you, my sister. You're speaking. You're speak she, she's speaking. Follow her. Follow her. This is great. She's speaking it as I'm saying it. Say, I make the decision to move forward. It's my decision. Even God can't decide for you. He gives us the opportunity, but then he says, now you rise up and go. Arise and shine, Isaiah 60 said, right? Arise and shine. For your light has come and the glory of the Lord has risen upon you. The gross darkness comes to the earth. My light shall be seen upon you. And kings will come to the brightness of your rising. Do you know, Solomon even said in Proverbs, he said, see a man or a woman, see a person diligent in their business. The same one will stand before great people. Lift your hands, not before just common people. The common people of the land. You'll stand before great people. You'll attract kings. You'll attract their wealth. But you have to build your system. You have to build your life. Father, there's an anointing from heaven coming. I want to lay it on this place here and all these people in Jesus' name right now before I take my uh, 
what do you call it? My next flight <laughs> to the next destination. Lord, leave it upon them that from today they receive power by the Holy Ghost to arise and shine to become great in this crazy land, in this crazy world, in this untoward world full of poverty and curses and corrupt people and sinners. We are to be blessed and to eat of the good of the land. Amen. Amen. Isaiah 119 said, if you're willing and obedient, you'll eat the good of the land. So no matter what I feel myself, no matter how I see things, no matter how bad something seems, I have made the decision that I'm willing and obedient to God's plan. No matter what I feel, no matter how hard, no matter what day says what, I say that I am the head and not the tail, above only and not beneath. I'm blessed coming in, I'm blessed going out. Everything I put my hand to prospers. Anything the devil wants to do is destroyed. And we release today, Lord, the curse upon evildoers that want to destroy good people. Lift your hands right now. The works of the devil. The devil and his ugly friends, they're all defeated. In Jesus' name. Whoever hurts you is going to pay for what they did to you. Lift your hands right now. You can forgive them. When you forgive, you release yourself. But they still have to pay for what they did. And don't take it away from them. Let them suffer for what they did. So anybody that made you suffer must suffer too. Praise the Lord. That's the law of God. Even an eye for an eye, a tooth for a tooth. That's in the Old Testament, people say. But it's still there. Praise the Lord. Exodus 22 talks about what God thinks about a thief. It says you should kill the thief. Hello? I'm not telling you what to. Now we live in another day. Oh, praise the Lord. Back then, they used to do that. So I'm not telling you to do that. But the Bible, God does not like a thief. In fact, he calls the devil a thief. So a thief has the nature of the devil. Lift your hands. Say, no thief can touch me. Whatever they stole, I'm getting back seven times. Tell the devil, I'm getting back seven times whatever you stole from me. In Jesus' name. And whoever did anything evil against me. All right, I got to go. I love you. Are you love me? Are you happy I came to share this with you? Start to speak. Start to understand that God is your source. But you have to rise up and begin to move. Everybody just stand. Well, I don't know. You could stay sitting. No, let's stand up for a minute. Let's just stand up. Father, I release the touch of heaven upon this people. That from today, they'll see things in a new way. Lord, we can't make anybody do anything. But the Holy Spirit can remain and begin to show them. I release that anointing right now upon this place in Jesus' name. Amen. That you'll begin to prosper, you'll begin to succeed, you begin, you begin to see new favor, new open doors, new connections, new friends, new resources, new everything. Amen. But you got to get it in your mind and your heart very strong. And then you have to decide that I'm going to have this. I'm not going to live without it. Lift your hands right now. This thing about living without things, people just suffer. Well, I don't have it, I don't have it. Why not? Get it, go get it. How can you get it? Figure it out. I heard a very rich man say this. A young man asked a rich man, a, a multimillionaire, he asked him, he said, what's the secret for getting what you really need and want? You know what the man said? Very powerful thing he said. He said, it's the work that you don't want to do. It's the work. I, I, mean, I, got, I got convicted. It's the work that you haven't done yet. That's where your wealth is. Lift your hands. So, see, you're doing things right now every day, same, same thing, same thing, but you're not getting the results you want. You have to change then what you're doing and begin to do the smarter thing. Father, I release this fire upon this people that they will prosper and succeed. And anybody watching wherever you are right now, 
You can find me on thomasmanton.com. That's my website, and all the links to my social medias are there and all of that. And the Lord bless you. Can you say amen? The Lord bless you. Would you like to give something into the anointing? Would you like to do that? Can I, can I give you that opportunity? Because I was just going to walk out, you know, but I thought, let me give the people a chance to sow into this anointing. I just get something in your hand and just bring it to the altar and drop it here. Some seed, some seed of some kind, something in your hand and just bring it and drop it here. Yeah, just bring it and drop it here. Tap into this grace. Lord, I love, I love people. I love your people. I really want to see you succeed. You, when you're, when, you're, when you're getting what I'm talking about, I want you to begin to find a way to find me. Just bring it. Just bring it quickly. Just bring it. Just drop it. Just drop it. Whatever it is. Whatever you can do. Whatever you want to do. Just, just walk to the altar and put something there. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is for you, not for me. This is for you. This is for you. Do you understand that? This is for you. This is for you. So into the grace. Now, I want to hear testimonies when you're getting blessed. Amen? Yes. I'm in Nairobi. You could, I'm in the city. You can find me, okay? Lift your hands up right now if you understood what I said. ThomasManton.com. You go online. That's my website. And you could ask our pastor here for my telephone number. I don't mind giving it to you. In fact, I'll give it to you right now. You have your phone? Get your phone right now. I'll give you my phone number. You could send, it's better that you don't call. It's better that you text. Text or WhatsApp, please, with your name and just say, hi, I was in the meeting in uh, Juja. Uh, I'm blessed. And, and then when you're, when you're getting blessed, I want to hear your testimony. Okay. 706 191. This little boy looks like he wants a phone. He's wondering, like, how can I get in on this? Look at this. He's so cute. He's like this. Like he, he, I, I don't know what to do. I don't have a phone. But Father, give this boy a phone. When he's ready for it, maybe he doesn't need it right now, but when he's ready, give him a good phone. A smartphone, not a, a dumb phone. A good phone. Smartphone for this baby, the way he walked out like that. I saw his face. You got it? Okay, send me a message right now. Send me a text with your name. Just send a text. I'll know where it was. You don't have to say too much. Just put your name, your name, and just send a text. Because I want to pray for you. That's what it is. Praise the Lord. And I really want to hear testimonies. I'm speaking by the Holy Ghost. How many believe you'll have a testimony from what I just said? How many believe you'll have a testimony? You. This is good because Psalm 121 says, lift up your eyes, even your hands, your faith, your countenance, toward God up. Because that's where our help comes from. How many believe you'll have a testimony for me? I really want to hear it. All right. I'm sorry for the time. Got to go. Happy Mother's Day. Happy Prosperity Day today. Praise the Lord. Happy blessing day for you. For you, for you, for you. That's right, mama, for you. For you. It's for you. It's for me too, but it's for you. I'm praying for you right now. All these young people, raise them up, Lord, to be champions. Even great business people, powerful people. New things will happen for them. They'll have experiences like, unlike other people in the society, the people that are blessed, that are of God, they're going to have a different testimony than all the people out there. Come on, somebody. They're going to have a, a testimony of miracles, of breakthrough. How many want to go into business? You want to have some kind of business? Yeah. Oh, my God. Father, thank Every hand went up. This is great. Great church. Father, thank you for the touch of heaven upon every business entity, every business enterprise. Begin to bless them. With new ways in Jesus' name. Yeah. Hallelujah. Somebody clap to the Lord. I believe it.
Woo! Somebody say woo! Somebody say woo! All right, I love you. Blow me a kiss. Thank you. I love you too. Amen. Give me one more. Let's give Jesus one right now. Oh, Rose of Sharon, Lily of the Valley, come on. Amen. <laughs> Ferris of 10,000, bright and morning star. King of kings, Lord of lords. He's the day star, the day spring, the great shepherd, the bishop and overseer of our souls. He's the Alpha and the Omega. He's the amen, the faithful and the true. He's the living God. He's the bright and the morning star. He's the beginning and the end. He's the Alpha and the Omega. He's the faithful, amen, and the true. He's the King of kings and the Lord of lords. Let's give him some praise right now. Hallelujah. Yeah, go, go, let's go, let's go. Come on. All right, I love you. God bless you. Siku Jema, Upeta Kiwe, Mungu no Muema, Bonasafiwe. I'll talk to you again, okay? Stay in touch. I want to hear your testimony. This is what I want to hear. How many believe you're going to have a testimony of miracles? It's really going to happen. You tell me what's happening. And I'll be talking to mama here. Amen. I want to hear the testimonies. Father, bless your servant, the woman of God. Bless this house. Bless this people. Let the touch of fire come upon her in a new way today for breakthrough and prospering and moving forward in life in the greatest way she's ever seen. I prophesy this in Jesus' name. All right, I love you. Goodbye. Goodbye. God bless you. Let's blow Jesus another one. We love you. Alpha and Omega. How many love Jesus? How many are happy? All right. See you next time. To Makofi. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Let's appreciate the man of God. Dear brethren, in Psalms 119, 105, the Bible says, Your word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. Truly, God has sent prophet Dr. Thomas Manton IV to proclaim and declare his word of abundance and prosperity prophetically unto the nations. Thus, brothers and sisters in Christ, I urge you, just as the Bible says in Matthew 10, 41, whoever welcomes a prophet as a prophet will receive a prophet reward. Let us welcome and embrace the prophet of God by supporting his ministry. You can sow a seed, you can send your love offering, you can support or partner in the ministry program using the details displayed on your screen. For when the prophet of God decrees a blessing upon you, indeed, you shall be blessed.